In this video, we'll learn how to upload our website to the internet using a web hosting account. So I'm going to start from my website at w3newbie.com and go to the resources page where I'll have a link to Bluehost, which is the web host we're going to use to upload our website to the internet. Or you can just go to w3newbie.com forward slash hosting, which I'll have a link to in the description. And this link will serve as a discount link to a page that Bluehost has created for me because I've been recommending their hosting services for so long to followers of my website and on YouTube so followers can get a discount to their hosting plans. So once we're on the plans page, if you're just building one website, I would go with the basic plan, but if you're building more than that, I would go with the plus. But for a single website, the basic plan will serve just fine. You're probably never going to need more than 50 gigabytes in space. You'll get a free SSL certificate, which will give you the lock symbol up here. And then you'll have the option to have subdomains as well as five different domain name email accounts, which if you look to the resources page of my website, you'll learn how to add to Gmail. So the email storage wouldn't matter anyways with your emails going to Gmail using your domain name.com email address. So once you select the plan that you want, we're going to be brought to a page where we can create a new domain name or use a domain name we own. So since we get a free domain name anyways, I always choose to create a new one with my Bluehost accounts. And I'm going to sign up with the domain name drew-host.com just for an example domain name. I don't really have one that I'm going to use at this time. But as we can see up top, the domain name is available. So I'm going to add my account information and I'll skip through the video just for a moment and blur out my info. And then we can choose the package plan or package information. So with Bluehost, because I know that I'm going to need it anyways, I go with the longest term. But if you just want to go with the cheapest amount overall, you can choose the 12 month plan. Then beneath that, we'll have the option to select some package extras. And the only thing that I recommend, depending on your situation, is the domain name privacy and protection. So every domain name that's online has to have something called who is contact information attached to it. It's kind of like if you have a piece of real estate, you have to have an owner's name and information attached to it. So if you want to keep your contact information private, I would choose to have the domain name privacy. That way, Bluehost contact information will be what's public. But if you're using a business address or a P.O. box or something, you might not need to worry about that. So I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to elect to add the domain name privacy and then add my payment information, which I'll just blur out and then select I've read and agreed to the terms of service and cancellation policy, which is a 30 day refund policy, I believe. And then I'm going to hit submit. Then once we're signed up, we're going to see that we have a confirmation email sent to us as well as the option to download the receipt at the bottom of the page and I'm going to hit create account. Then we'll come to a page where we create our account password attached to our domain name. So I have a password prepared already and I'll select I've read and agreed to the terms and then hit create account once more. Then it says our account is ready and we can log in. Then on the login page we'll just need to add our password once more and I'm going to hit save with Google Chrome. Then Bluehost is going to run us through a couple of questions here, which we can skip through or you can add your answers to, but it's not going to matter later on. So I'm going to skip through all of this, including the theme options. And the reason that Bluehost is showing all of this is because Bluehost is really popular for WordPress websites. In fact, WordPress themselves recommends Bluehost. So by default, Bluehost adds WordPress to the server for us when we sign up with an account. So to prepare our account for an HTML website instead of WordPress, we'll just need to take two simple steps, which I'm going to show you how to do. But before we do that, remember that you're going to have an email from Bluehost, which you'll need to check to verify your domain. So be sure to check for that and click the verification button. So now back on the Bluehost website, we're going to go down to the advanced link here, and I'm going to show you the first step to get rid of WordPress. So this is an optional step, but I would recommend doing it just so you know everything is cleared that was installed on the server for WordPress originally. And we're going to go into MySQL databases. Then once we're in MySQL databases, scroll down and hit delete on the database that you see and then delete database. And this will delete the WordPress database that was installed automatically. Then we can go back to the advanced screen 
and we're going to go to something called file manager where we'll delete the WordPress files and add our website files. So once you're here, click on the public underscore HTML folder right here. And then that's going to bring us into the directory of all of the files on our domain name. So I'm going to hit select all so we can just delete all of the WordPress files that are here at once and then go up to delete then skip trash and permanently delete, then hit confirm. And now our directory is completely blank and ready for our website files. So go up and select the upload button. Then we'll be able to drag and drop our HTML files once we add them to a zip folder. So I'm gonna use the agency theme from w3newbie.com and I'm just gonna select all the files, right click them, and then hit compress 10 items. So then we'll have our zip folder and we can drag and drop this zip to Bluehost. So just give it a moment to upload and then we'll go back to the file manager and then we'll need to click the zip and then go up to extract and hit extract files and then hit close and now all of our website files will be on our domain name. So in my case here, some files from my Mac somehow came along with the website file so I'm just going to delete those and skip the trash and we can also delete the zip archive that we created because we're not going to need that anymore and now we're ready to check out our domain name with our website files on it so I'm going to go up and add my drew-host.com URL and then if we go to our website it might be a little bit slow at first because the server space is still getting set up but you should see your website files uploaded and you can go over to different pages of the website. So for example, I'll just go to the contact us page with the contact form and the Google map. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you how to do is add an SSL certificate, which is the lock symbol next to our website. So that way our website has secure encryption with HTTPS instead of HTTP. So to see that we have the free SSL turned on, we can go to Marketplace on the left. Then once it brings us to the next page, we'll want to look for the add-ons link where it says shop add-ons, even though it's free. And then we'll scroll down to SSL certificates on the right. And then at the very top, we're going to see that auto SSL is on, as we can see right here, because it says it's on and we only have the option to disable it. So it might just take a little bit for the SSL to kick in, but just to make sure that it does, what I'm going to recommend is to simply contact Bluehost chat support. So just click the question mark in the upper right hand corner, and this will bring us to the support page, and I'm going to select chat, and I'll show you how quickly we can get a rep chatting with us here. So I'm going to put in my name, Drew, and then my domain name, drew-host.com, then hit next, and I'll just select tech support, and then SSL. Then I'm going to write, hello, I have an HTML website I would like SSL added to. Can you do that for me? Question mark. Then hit find help and start chat. And then we'll just go down and hit start chat again because we don't want to look at the um, article resources. Okay, so now we have somebody joined. And then we're going to need to verify our account via email. So just wait for it. And then we'll need to check our email for that verification code. So I'm going to pull that up. And there is my verification token. And I'll just prove that it's me by sending him the token. And then he'll be able to help me with it. And I'm not going to leave the whole chat here on video because it took a couple of minutes, but Bluehost has really great chat and phone reps, so I'm sure they'll be able to help you get the SSL set up. And once they do, you'll be able to go over to your domain name with the lock symbol and SSL added, as you can see here on the agency theme, which is uploaded to the domain name I signed up for, drewhost.com. So that does it for the entire tutorial or course. 
be sure to check out the resources page at w3newbie.com, which will also teach you how to set up your domain name email address with Bluehost and connect it to your Gmail account so you can get your domain name email there. I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to check out the complete 12 website bundle pack at w3newbie.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.